Harvest Pheasant Farm. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about candling pheasant eggs. This is episode three. I uh, After I store eggs for seven days, I put them in the incubator. Um, I really only candle on the seventh day. Um, usually after the seventh day, I can tell which eggs are fertile, which ones are not. The ones that are not are taken out of the incubator and then they are destroyed um, but in this episode I'm just going to show you the different stages of um, candling pheasant eggs so I'll show you what an egg looks like when it's not incubated at all compared to what it looks like on the seventh day and then what it looks like on the 14th day and then the 21st day before it's put in the hatcher so I'll show you all those different uh, stages there all right, now here's a recap on the incubator that I use. I keep the temperature at 100 degrees. Humidity is between anywhere from 45 to 55%. And then during hatch time or lockdown, it's from 55 to 65%. Also with the trays that I have, each shelf would be considered a week on how I incubate. So this is one week, this is two week, and this is three week. So. I'll show you the differences now between candling eggs from 7 days, 14 days, and 21 days. Okay, when candling eggs, you want a flashlight that's powerful enough to penetrate through and so you can see the development of inside the egg. There are some eggs that are a little bit darker, which it may be harder, um, but just something to think about when you're getting a candler. Also keep in mind, I know that if you're incubating for the first time, you get really eager and you want to check the development. Wait the six, seven days or so. Don't try to do it on the third or fourth day. There may be development, but you have to kind of relax. And I understand the anticipation of the seventh day. It just takes forever, but trust me, it'll be worth it. All right, so let's start off with an egg that has not been incubated. As you can see, it's clear and obviously no development. Now, an egg that has been in the incubator for seven days, you can see some development. The veins, a little hard to see, but it's there. The air sac is small on the top. Now an egg at 14 days, there's more development, more veins, air sac is bigger. You can actually see them moving in there. And then on the 21st day, the egg, you can see it's fully developed on um, the air sac is the same size as it, as it is at 14 but this one will be hatching in the next three days. So just to kind of recap here, no development that ha this has not been incubated yet. This is at seven days, the development of the little veins. The 14th day, more development, bigger air sac, See them moving in there. And then on the 21st day, you have the bigger air sac and almost full development. So it's got a couple more days though. It's got to position itself and then suck in the yolk. Um, that's the very last thing that ends up developing is that yolk going inside of the bird. All right, so every egg will get inspected just to see if there is development. Eggs that aren't developed will go in the, the tray, this one here. The ones that are developed will stay in the blue tray. All 
All we want to do is just see any type of veins, blood. There's nothing there, no sign of life. It's taken out. Now after doing this for a while, you know what you're looking for. But if you're new, don't rush it. Look for those veins. So each one of the trays has 59, and out of the 59, only two of them were not fertile. So not bad for this tray. And then I'll do this to the other trays, and then the ones that are not fertile, once again, get destroyed. All right, now these eggs have been checked. I just want to show you the difference of what a non-fertile egg looks like when it's been in the incubator for seven days. So it looks like our normal egg that hasn't been incubated at all from earlier. I mean, it still has an air sac, but obviously there's no development because of the veins. Now this one here, it'll have, it has a little ring that there was at some point development, but it didn't get that far. So between the first day and where we're at right now on the seventh day, it somehow died and there's no development. And this is what we were wanting. You see the veins, a lot of redness. This is our good egg. So good egg, not a good egg, not a good egg. So there you have it. We talked about candling eggs. You saw an egg, what it looks like before incubation. You saw one at seven days, 14 days, and 21 days of incubation. You also saw eggs of what they look like when they're incubated, when they're not developed or they started development and they died. Um, if you have any questions at all, feel free to comment. Um, don't forget to like this video. Also, if you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe. I'll have more videos um, still to come. And then if you have any other questions, feel free to contact us even on our website at shpheasants.com. This is Nicholas Sunrise Harvest Pheasant Farm. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.